Hello, hi there. Welcome to another repair video, right? Today we have an Acer, a nice shiny one. Pretty good condition. Yeah, it's like new. Something's rattling inside. So what is it? Acer Aspire 5. A515. It's kind of classic, you know, laptop. Not expensive, but works well. So what's the problem? The customer's complaining about the charging. It breaks up the charging. It's not charging right. So possibly this tiny connector. Let's plug it in and let's see what it does. I need a small plug. This one. Yes. Okay, we have 19 volts, 3 amps, plug it in, and it's charging, wiggle it around, okay, it's taking 2 amps, if you pull it towards you it takes 0. So it is a charging problem. Yeah, zero, fine. Zero, fine. Hmm? Okay, let's take it apart and let's see the charging port. What do we need? Screwdriver and a plastic container. Right. Let's do it. Here we are. What do we have? Nice clean motherboard. A little bit of dust here, not too much. Okay, the charging port. Let's see what it does. hinge is out <laughs> let's see plug it in we do have two amps voltage we need a good ground let's take it from from here maybe nope Here. Yeah, that's a good ground. So we have 19.2. Let's get closer. Okay. We have 19.2 volts here. If I wiggle it last round please hold come on man okay 19.2 here if i wiggle the connector yeah i can't make it not work so It's fine. But can you see this? So now it's charging. You can see two, two amps. It's taking two amps, right? And if I pull it out just a little bit, like this, it stops charging. But we still have 19.5, right? So this connector has this pin that is connected. Um, it's like a safety pin. When you plug the connector all the way in, it connects to ground and then it starts charging. So you can see we have a positive 19 volts here, but this pin is not connected to the ground so it doesn't charge. If we force it to ground like this, it should start charging. 
so you see two amps you know if I disconnect this it stops it stops charging so I believe this is the problem this little pin inside a little tab when you smash it in it connects to the ground and starts charging let's take the but how can we do it you know maybe the customer's charger is worse than this hmm? let's figure something out um, yeah we can't do it the charging light is here maybe we can plug in the charger put it in so what do we have we have the charging light wiggling the connector it stopped charging and I, yeah you see it stopped I release it goes stops goes I mean is this the problem oh yeah <clears throat> let's turn the laptop on and see if it works where were the screws here and here let's see power on it is turning on yeah Acer we wait okay user so let's see the charging sign battery is kinda empty oh, 25% okay 25% uh, customer charger it's here okay go away yeah plug it in nothing nothing's happening oh it's charging yeah it's breaking up you can see yeah so what would you do now hmm? let me shut it off should we replace the charging port or should we put some extra wires <laughs> inside the laptop again <laughs> what do you say I mean I do have the connector Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's not the same, is it? Yeah, it is. Hmm? this one okay let's take that out and let's fix it let's fix it how it should be fixed
and the little board is out. <clears throat> so what do we have here? Hmm? Microscope is not working, let me fix that. Okay, it's working now, we're back. Uh, let's see. We have the connector here. How does it look? It looks fine. Okay, we're gonna put some more solder on all of those connections and that's it. So we need this pin connected to the ground somewhere. So this one, this one here. So we need to find the ground somewhere and here and connect those two. And that's it. We need flux. A little bit of flux. We've got a new bottle. New syringe. And today we are gonna use the T420D soldering iron. some molten metal here and here a little bit here great a lot here more this is the ground Okay. Yeah, I need to take my words back. The soldering iron kind of works nice, you know. I did order some tips, so maybe in a future video we can test that. Uh, some thick wire. Nah, that's too much. Yeah. This, yeah, this is better. Come on, man. Good. Okay. Where are we at? Here. What do you say about that? Okay, hold on. No, that's fine. Okay, let me take this flux away and then and then we can test the 
better than factory. Okay, we put it back in, let's power it on, we need to wait, it is on, the LED is on, so let's see, we reset the bias so we need to wait a bit. We have the customer charger here. It's still on. Yeah. Come on. I didn't plug in the fan. I didn't put the fan in. Okay, we can do it while it's booting. Yes. That's fine. Still on, yes. Okay, we have the windows loading. Let me let me not do that. Bringing up the battery management. Okay, so twenty percent. Plug in the charger. It's charging. Wiggy wiggy. It's solid. Huh? <laughs> what do you say about that? We fixed it. Yeah, I'm happy. Let's see 21% and then we, yeah, we're done. So, would you change the port? Would you put a little tiny wire there and just fix the original port, which is probably way better than the Chinese one I have over there. Hmm? Type it down in the comment, what would you do? And this will now work for a long time. And if the customer do return, then I just replace the port right okay short video today hope you like it and uh, we'll see you in the next one right bye <laughs>